Happy Sabbath, all. Happy Sabbath. All right. Let us begin with a word of silent prayer. Amen. Shai went over, went over standing upright. Yeah, I sent the notes in the chat. Shai went over standing upright. And what I want to add to that is so to stand upright means, means what? Upright? Yes, that's true, but... Um, Yes, that, that, yeah, that's true, but what else? There's just one word. He said to it. Understand. To understand. So I want to add to that thought of what it means to, under, to stand upright. To stand upright means to under, understand. So what are we to know in these last days? The times and seasons. Amen. The times and the seasons. That's what Christ told told. Um, told them in Matthew 24. The Lord showed them the times and the seasons. This is what we are to know, to know that Christ is, is, um, is, is at the what? Door. Doors. Amen? Amen? Okay. Are we at the end of the world? How do we know that? Amen. Because of prophecy. Because of the events that are transpiring in in this earth and have ha, have also transpired, so this is not not in the notes. Let's go to Zechariah four fourteen. Zechariah chapter four fourteen is not in the notes. This is to go with what <clears throat> Rashad went over. Everyone there says, then said he, these are the two what? Anointed, one. Anointed ones that what? Stand. Amen. So these two stand upright by, by the Lord of the whole earth. Amen. Amen. So the, these two understand all things in this earth. They, um, the Lord, the Lord sent light onto them so that they might go and, and tell souls on earth the things in which they see from on high. Amen. Okay, so <clears throat> we need to stand up right also means, it means to understand, but I want to put understand the, the times. So to stand up right, you have to understand the times. All right. Um, let's go to Revelation 6 verse 17 now. It's not in, in the notes either. Chapter 6, verse 17. Everyone there? <clears throat> it says, For the great day of his wrath has come, and who shall be able to what? Understand. Amen. Who shall be able to understand? And there is a select group who, who will be able to stand, because the Lord will strengthen them to stand in that time. Amen? Amen. All right. And the only way you can stand is if you have... If you know the events for this time, if you know the times. So in the scriptures, we have the times of the what? The time. Okay. The, yeah. The time of the end. You have the times of the Gentiles. You have the time of the time of refreshing. You have, you have, you have the time of what? The time of trouble. You, you have the time, the time of peace. You have the time of, yeah, we said, already said refreshing. You, you have the times before appointed. So all these times you have, you have to understand. And all these times are, are showing us this time we are in. This time and the time to come. Amen? Amen. 
So these are the times we have to understand and, and we have to know so that we, we might be able to stand when, 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 when the, the great day of his wrath has come. Because the question they ask is, who shall be able to stand? And then when you go to chapter 14, it says, these are they who have come out of great, what? Tribulation. Okay, yes. These, this group here were the ones that, that stood in the day of God's wrath. Amen. Amen, yes. Standing on the sea of glass. All right, so now let's go down to our notes. First quote. See it there? ST, September 7th, 1891, paragraph 4. It says, the warfare in which we are engaged is largely what? Mental. All right. And the way we know it is because Christ says, let this... Mind be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus. So the warfare we're in is largely mental. It says, and, 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 and the mind that is most, most, amen, will do the most acceptable work. So in this time, we must thoroughly train our minds so that, so that we, we might do the most thorough work in these last days. Jump down to the next board. It says the servants of Christ, Christ should seek to what? Understand. Understand the requirements for this time. So in every age and every time, there were requirements for that time. It says the conditions of warfare are not what they were years ago. Because increased light has been shining upon us and great and solemn warnings have come to us. So the way... The way in which we have fought before, we, we can't fight in the same manner because increased light has come. And also, Satan has changed his ways as well. Amen? Exactly. It won't be exactly the same, but you, exactly. you will see some of, of the same things, but it's not exactly the same. So, therefore, the Lord must send increased light for that time to meet that darkness that is falling upon the earth. Rashad, then Michelle, then Val. Amen. Amen. New things. Amen. Rashad, Michelle, Val. Sorry. It says the servants of Christ should seek to understand the requirements of this time. And if you go back into the, the children of, of Israel, it says that uh, the children of Issachar were they had understanding yes. of the time. Yeah. So we'll in each in each and every generation you have children of Issachar. Amen. That, that understanding of the times. Of the times. So Amen. Daniel, when it came to um, when it comes to Daniel in his day, he was a child of Issachar. When mm -hmm. it came to him standing in, in his lot in 1798, he came He to, understood what that, was happening, yes. He fit William Miller, which was, a, uh, yes. which was a child of Issachar. Amen. Um, all right, yeah, we'll read that point in a few as well. Michelle, go ahead. Oh, oh you did it? Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. All right. Go ahead if you have, have, have something to say. Mm -hmm. I said, and each time there is new life for that time. That is, was, was all I'm basically saying. I was just thinking that there's a reason why the Lord, um, when he was taken, prison was come one way. He comes, you know, he comes with his eyes and he comes with the, the beast. Mm -hmm. So there's something that the Lord's trying to teach us, you know. Amen. Because they were, because our time, even though we're going to the false prophets, if, if everything was put in faith and working, then the Lord was not even to want us to understand. Mm-hmm. Amen. When you start when you look at it, based on what's going on, I'm looking out on history, you, you see that how the country is just gonna be oppressed. Be swept away, yeah. There's something that the Lord is 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 confusing you and wanting you to understand. Amen. Yes. That's what I, I, I felt when you know what you're talking about. Amen. They didn't talk about that because that means they're looking into the unknown now. Amen. That's that's right. They're they're looking for the same God. That you're seeing the old, yeah, and the old is showing you something new. It's like you're if you see. Amen. 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 
together will actually point them to the end of the world, point them to the United States. You know, because mm-hmm. he, he saw the same beast. You know, he saw that beast that had all the symbols, the two, the, you know, the representations. He saw that beast, and it's really pointing to today. Amen. It's just not clear yet. Amen. Mm-hmm. Praise God. Val, you got your hand. Oh, yeah, the change as time went on. Amen. Yeah, okay. A- amen. Go ahead. Amen, yes. There's a new mode of warfare. So Satan's going to come in a new mode of warfare. But Satan also will use the old mode, but because Satan copies everything of Christ. Amen? Yes, it's a mixing of both. It's Amen, because that is what we do as well. We mix the old and the new, because you see new light, new light in the old, but new things in a new way as well. So Satan's going to copy that same thing. He, he will take the old things and bring it in a new way, but then make new things and then bring it in a new way as well. Satan's going to do the very same thing. Amen. That's why the warfare is different from, from four or five years ago. It's a different warfare now. Yeah, but to the Lord's people, it's the same. Amen, yes. Because I will be like the Most High. And the Most High says, I am the Lord. I change not. Three. Yes. It's a missile. Yes. Amen. Yes, the plane. Okay, that's the thing I was going to say. Same thing right here. In terms of principle. Yes. It's changing what it looks like. Yeah, the actual physical thing. But there was one new thing added to 9-11. Fire that burned without fire. Oh, yes. That is true. Yes. It was old thing. Yeah, there was. Everything melted. Yeah. Yes, and amen. Now we, we, we never seen before. So it's new things in a new way. Old things in a new, new way. New way. Amen. So this, this is going to what, what Rashad, Rashad was showing here, that the Lord at this time, he's going to show us something in which we have never fathomed before. And the way I know this is is because is the Lord is already doing that even now. If you if you follow that which the Lord the Lord is showing us and has shown us in the past year and two, you will see that. The rules in which the Lord has shown us have been old rules, but it's old rules in a new way. So the Lord is trying to help us to fight as well as as um, as Satan changes his ways as well. So, Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. They say, yeah. Amen. All right. Amen. Yes. All right. Um. Going on to the, the underlying portion of the, that quote, it says, The conditions of warfare are not what they were years ago, because increased light has been shining upon us, and great and solemn warnings have come to us. Unless we have an understanding of the what? Time. Of the times in which we live, we may, even with the best of intentions, make great mistakes and stand in the way of the advancement of the work. So we have to have an understanding of the times, because if you don't, even with the best intentions, as she says here, you will, you will make a great mistake. It says the claims, claims upon the Christians are the same now as ever. Perfect obedience. But Satan's attacks are more deceptive. His m- m- manner of warfare is so, um, d- is so, Different. amen. F- from that, expected. Uh, expected that unless the, the, um, s- Senses are sharpened till, um, k- amen. We, we, for defense, amen. So, so we must have our senses sharpened. We must have our senses what, exercised, amen. So we have to have an understanding of our time. So right now, what is what is one of the big things happening now, in this world or in this um, land here? Roe versus Wade. That is one of the main things right now. That's something we have. Yeah, amen. Inflation. All these things 
are theirs written in God's word. We just have to go and ask the Lord for wisdom, and he shall give us wisdom to, to know what, what these things are and to understand the times which we, we are in. Because, because this is also, this, this case will also change, change the way in which, with, which we fight as, um, as time g g goes on and so forth. Going on to the next paragraph, MS3, 1909, paragraph 2. Um, let's go on to the, the bold, the bold portion. Can someone read that loudly, please? Let there be a sensible understanding of the times in which we live. Let it be realized that the end of all things is near and that our work of character building is soon to bear the test of the investigative judgment. Amen. So we have to have a sensible understanding of the times in which we live. Just saying the same things. Again, now going with what Rashad was saying, we're going to read it in First Chronicles 12, verse 32. It says, And of the children of who? Issachar, which were men that had understanding of the times to know what Israel ought to do. So when you have the understanding of the times, it, it helps you to know what to do. So Issachar, this group, knew, knew the signs of, of the times, and it helped them in the warfare. So now let's look at um, what shows us time. The sun, the, moon. the, sun, the moon, and, and what? Stars. Okay, the sun and the moon and the stars are what shows us time. Because the sun tells us the time of day, the moon gives us months, shows us, helps, helps us to give us months, and the stars show us um, the months and years also, too. Yeah, amen. And the seasons. Say it again. Plants? Yes. Amen, yes. Amen, yes. Yeah. Arcturus. What is yeah, shown in the, in the sky. Yeah. Amen. So this is what shows us time. Sun, moon, stars, and the seasons. So, and all these things, these three are where? They are in the heavens. So the heavens is what gives us time. That is what gives us time. The natural sun, moon, and stars shows us time. But the heavenly things shows us, shows us time. And these are all symbols of the government. The government of heaven gives us time. Jesus says that, says that you see the sun and you know this. You see this wind blow and you know this. So we have to understand the, these things just as Iskar understood them. Go ahead, Michelle. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So now when you go to the. Yeah. On earth, yes. But the Lord's hand is still in that as well. Those things are there to still show you the signs of the times. If it's a good king or a horrible king, it doesn't matter. They are there to show you the signs of the times. Okay, I'll just go ahead. Yeah. You only see them because of the position of the earth. So the light you see is based upon the position. Ah oh, man, I was Amen. The position the government takes. This is the star that you're going to see. Going to see. And this is the time that you're now in because of this position that that man has now taken. Amen. So so certain angels come, certain stars come only position. only because of certain events that are happening in the earth. You see the moon only because of certain things that is happening in the earth and and we'll touch that point of the sun, moon, and stars, seeing that, as we already know this, the, the sun is the what? Come on. As a, um, okay, the sun is the word of God. It's the Bible. Yes, the sun is the Bible because, because the sun is Christ, and Christ is the word made flesh. He, he's, the, he's, he's the Bible. The moon is the what? Spirit of prophecy, and one more thing. Yes, the lesser light, that's true. It's the types. 
the types, the types and the shadows, the old things. And the stars, oh, I had it. Yes, I, I, the stars are the, yes, yeah, the angel, angels. I'll just put the angels for now. There's a quote that we'll read later on that <coughs> highlights all these things. So these are the things that help us understand the times. This is what helps us to stand upright so that, and the only way you can stand upright is if you have a firm foundation. That is what makes you stand upright. If you have this firm foundation, and your foundation is rooted, and, um, and, and your feet is rooted and planted in, in this rock, which is Christ. So, okay, yes, going to what Kanar said. If you just l look up the, actually, I'll, I'll say that point for later. But if you just look in God's word, look at the new moon. The natural things teaches, teaches spiritual things. So, so when the new moon comes, it's telling at when it happens on earth, you don't see the moon at all. So then a time will come where you won't see any of the types at all. And the only thing you, there's only one thing that can lead you in that time, in the new moon time. But, and there's also time where a full moon, where now the types are shining the brightest and you see much light from the, top, um, from the types. You take the natural moon, and the cycles of, of, of the moon, it will teach you spiritual things, just as with the sun and with the stars as well. As Sun was saying, there's certain stars shown at certain times of the years, and then sometimes there's not. So it's the same thing. There's certain, the Lord will s send down some at certain times, and sometimes the Lord will bring back some at certain times for a reason. And we see this with Christ as well. All right. So let's go to Genesis 1, verse 14 says, let there be lights in the, what? Firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night. And let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and for years. This is what gives us time, period. This is what gives us time. So to understand time, you have to understand these things. Daniel 2, verse 20. Actually, we'll read. Yeah. It says, um, actually, the bold. And he changeth the times and the seasons. All right. So there is a time that will come, that the Lord will change the times and the seasons on purpose, is to really see who is really following God. That's why we have to have an understanding of the times themselves. We have to understand what God is doing at all times. And all this is really showing the heavenly sanctuary because Christ's face shown, shown as the what? As the sun. And he had 12 what in his hand? And, and amen. And, um, and, and um, the, the moon, the types, was all showing the things in the heavenly sanctuary. So all these things, we really have to understand the movement of Christ in the heavenly sanctuary. This is what it's showing. Go ahead, Swindon. It's nice, you know, it changes the times and the seasons. Now, the papacy seeks to change the times and laws. Mm -hmm. It's not doing it because, you know, Satan's seeing God do it. For instance, when Israel mm -hmm. was first formed, the way, they the way they reckon their time was by the moon. Yes. But when they went into captivity, they reckoned their time by the Babylonian calendar. When Nebuchadnezzar mm. came up and when yeah. Nebuchadnezzar went mm. down, the Lord did that. He said Amen. 70 years is given to whom? Babylon. Babylon. By yeah. what calendar? Yeah, theirs. By yeah. the Babylonian Yeah, their calendar. own calendar. But when you come to remember our history, what does he do? No more Karyites. Gregorian. Now we're dealing with the Gregorian. He's changing the times and the seasons literally as we... As we but he's not changing the Sabbath. Amen, yes, yeah. And then you see the sun going dark and the moon, moon going to blood, blood and there amen. is no time. Amen, yes, he's, he's changing, changing things, the stars yes. fell from heaven. Amen. He's changing the time and ah, the season by the fulfillment of prophecy. Amen. So this is, amen, we have to have a, and this is why the Lord, this is how we know the Lord has been leading us, because the Lord has been trying to have our feet more firmly planted on the more sure word of amen. prophecy. And this is shown through Moses and all the prophets. And this is, the, these are they that stand before the Lord of the earth always. Moses and all the prophets. Moses and, and um, El Elijah. They're the ones that stand before the Lord. So, just as Sunan was saying, the Lord will cause things to change on purpose to really test if, um, if we are following God or following, following him for naught. Yeah, but the, the French try to change it. You yes. Them, and then and plagues. The and so plagues. Amen. You see what happens to them. So when man tries to change it, he brings 
bring a lot of destruction. Amen. When God changes it, it's for the, for the benefit, benefit of the people Amen. As, they, as they go forward from heaven and kingdom. Amen. Because the falling of the stars and all these things help them to know that, oh, we are at the end of the world. Amen. So the sun, moon, and stars help us to see we are at the end of the world. So likewise, in this time, we have to understand the sun, moon, and stars in the seasons. Go ahead, Val. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> yes, the sun sta stands still or time went back. That, that's the Lord changing the times and... Amen. Times and seasons. So the Lord will do things like that. People will, will not understand it and think that this is not, not of Christ and think this is of Satan. And, and this is why many will fall because they're not, they're not following, following the Lord. And the, the Lord has allowed us to, oh yeah, forgot. Yeah, we always said Moses and all the prophets. I didn't say this. It's the map. Moses and all the prophets. They are not following the map close enough. They're not following it correctly. And because the Lord will do these things unto us, it's to test us and see if our heart is, is pure and, and, and right. I saw a hand. Yes. You won't. You won't know if you actually. Amen. Yeah, readiness. Amen. Amen. And, amen. The, um, yes, yeah, yeah, he did change, change seasons. Yeah, oh yeah, he did change seasons. Yeah, because it rained. Yeah, he added something to the earth. But, um, yes, yeah, it changed. It changed the seasons. Oh, yes. Going to what you said, Michelle, the test each week is the Sabbath. That is every single week is the Sabbath. You come on to the end and and then the Lord will 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 see if you actually follow him throughout the whole week. Because um, she says only holy beings can keep a holy Sabbath. So you you must come to the Sabbath in a in wholeness unto God. But let's go on. Go ahead. Yes. Down, yep. And during the week, though the times and seasons change, the Sabbath never changes. Amen. Amen. Ah, amen. All right, so let's go to Psalms 74, verse 16 and 17. It says, The day is thine, the night also is thine. Thou hast. Thou hast um, prepared the light and the sun. So these things are all, all the Lord's. And, and the Lord, as we read, is the one that changes the times and the seasons. Verse 17, thou hast set all the what? Borders of the earth. Thou hast made summer and winter. Psalms 136, verse 8 and 9. The sun to rule by day, for his mercy endureth forever. The moon and stars rule by night, for his mercy endureth forever. So the sun rules by day, and the, sun, and the moon and the stars rule by night. So when um, Revelation 12, verse 17 says that, And the dragon was wroth, and went to make war with the remnant, because they keep the commandments of God and the what? Faith of Jesus. Amen, the faith of Jesus. And what is that? No, sorry, no, no. That, that's, yes, that, yes, that's true. The faith of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. Amen. So, yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Sorry. Yes. It is the, um, the SOP. So, in the night, the dragon is wroth because the moon is, is there shining brightly. Because, because, the, um, because there's a group who has this same... Um, this... Spirit, and and Satan wants to quench that one there. 
um, go down to Psalms 119, verse 91, to show, um, yeah. Can someone re read this verse, please? Um, can I sing for, live forever, O oh Lord, thy word. No. No, just Yeah. Continue this day according to thine ordinances, for all are thy servants. Amen. So the sun, moon, and stars are God's servants. All right. So it's Ecclesiastes 3, verse 1 to 8. And it says to what? Everything. Everything there's a season. And, and a time to what? Every purpose under heaven. A time, a time, to, time. time to be born, to die, plant, pluck up that which is planted, kill, heal, break down, build up, weep, laugh, mourn, dance, cast away stones, gather stones, embrace, refrain from, pre from embracing, get, lose, keep, cast away, rend, sow, keep silence, and a time to speak. Um, oh, a time to love, hate, war, and peace. So... There is a group who will know all these times and know exactly what to do in those times as well, as, as we read in 1 Chronicles 12, verse 32. Um, okay, so John, that's Job 10, verse 22. I should have had this up earlier. Can someone read this, please? Amen. So when, oh yeah, um, Christ, Christ as, as we have there, is, is the son of what? Right. Righteousness. So when, when Christ was in, in the grave, this was the, the shadow of death now because the sun is now gone. So it's nighttime. It was a Amen. Yes. So it's nighttime. So now this is the shadow of death. And this verse tells us that the shadow of death is without any order. So when, when this nighttime comes in, as we hear, have heard the midnight cry, this midnight darkness, we shall see, let's put it underneath here. Order. Amen. No order. This is a practical thing. Go ahead. This is why the wife says, oh, this is why the Bible tells us to be at home at night. Ah, uh, yes. Amen. There this is literally no order outside your home. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, because at yes, because at night there is literally no no order. Yeah. Everyone drives the way the way they want to drive. This is just crime. Just Amen. Yeah. Amen. Crime increases at night because Christ says the night is is what better suited for your work. So this is thank you. So at, at that time. In the night, this is when there's much crime. So literally, we should be in our homes before night nightfall, as well. Amen. Yep. Oh. Amen. All right. So let's go to. Oh yeah. So that's the point I want to put is that when Christ died, um, the thing that should have led them was the moon and the stars. They should have received the message from the stars because, because angels came and spoke unto them. Exactly. So, yeah, angels came and spoke to... Um, Mary, she met the angels at the tomb. Amen. They should have received the word of her mouth. Amen. Wait, so talking about the, talking about the, the resurrection? Yeah, the angels. That yeah. Oh. So, in that time, this is what should have led them and... The types, the types should have led them to, to see that this is the work of God. Christ was to die, and then Christ, Christ is to raise on the third day. That's what should have guided them. But, go ahead. Yes, amen. The Lord, the Lord has been showing us that for, for, for a long time. The natural teaches the spiritual. The only thing that helps us to see th these things is the rules from, from on high only. Okay, um, jump down, go to Revelation 12, verse 1. Can someone read this, please? And there appeared a great fire in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet, and upon her head a crown of twelve stars. Amen. 
So this woman is clothed with the sun, moon, and stars. This woman understands the, the, the times in which she is in. And this is showing the church. Go to, go to SSP 212, paragraph 3. Can someone read this as well loudly? Just read the bold parts. Amen. So, the foundation for the church is, is the types, is the old things. Because this is what helps us to see the new, and the new helps us to see more new. I'll jump down to Proverbs um, 4. Proverbs 4, verse 5 to 9. May someone read that, please. Get wisdom, get understanding, forget it not. Neither decline from the words of my mouth. Forsake her not, and she shall preserve thee. Love her, and she shall keep thee. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom, and with all thy getting, get understanding. Exalt her, and she shall promote thee. She shall bring thee to honor, and when thou dost embrace her, she shall give to thine head an ornament of grace. A crown of glory shall she deliver thee. Amen. So this, this is what the Lord wants, wants us to have, the, the wisdom that cometh from above. And, and at, at the end, this wisdom shall be, shall be seared upon each mind if we're faithful. But the Lord sends that beforehand so that we may walk in that, walk in it, and then she shall um, exalt thee there. Isaiah 33, verse 6. Can someone read this as well? And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time, thy times, and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. Amen. So the shadow of, of um, death. death, yes, is without any order. Amen. But this verse is telling us that wisdom and knowledge shall be the what? Stability of thy times. So when this darkness comes, the understanding of the times shall shall have you stable in this in the time when it's with when, when it's without any order. And we shall surely see that very soon. In th this nation will look like it it is without any order in in the in the fullest sense. The fullest sense in which we have not seen. Thus far, because we have here at the sign, so you have this in type, the second coming of Christ. And then after, this, after that, you have the thousand years. And in that time, the earth shall, shall look without order. order. It'll be void of, of order. But the only thing that shall keep us in this time is the wisdom and knowledge in which we have received from, from the Lord. Amen. All right, so go ahead. I think, I think um, while we were talking about the book of Proverbs, mm -hmm. and he was, and he, he, he asked for wisdom, he received it. Amen. And he, he's right that one of the things he says here is that um, he says, exalt her, you know. And she shall promote thee. Yeah, so if he's saying that and he had wisdom, he asked for it, then we could do the same thing. Amen, yeah. and receive. Because he, he clearly understands after everything he did, he said it was that it was, it was vanity. Mm -hmm. So. Amen. Because this is what shall save us from falling. Yeah. All right. Go down to Review and Herald, July 5th, 1906, paragraph 6. Can someone read? Amen. 
All right, so, so there shall be a what? A series of events. So even now, just as Rashad was going over, we have seen a series of events. But these series of events will bring about a, a whole different series of events that will bring the churches closer to ascending above the kings of the earth. Amen? Amen. All right, so this series of events now is to break down a certain order of things so that a new order of things as Swinon and... Um, and yeah, went over in the past weeks. It will bring us to another series of events. Go ahead. Why? Why are you saying that? Oh yeah, the series of events. Yes. Amen. Yes. Yes. Yeah. You have. Yeah. Amen. Yes. Yeah. Go ahead, Shayla. Loud. All right, you can stop there. All right, so we have to understand these series of events, but these, but these series of events will only pattern themselves after old, old things as well. So, so if we have the moon at, at our feet, when these new things come about, we, we shall be fine in those, in those times as well. Because events come in their order. Amen, events come. Without order, you'll never break that. The order, amen. Amen. Even if the sun, moon, and stars are darkened, he said, summertime, wintertime, and harvest, they will remain. Ah, uh, amen. Even if the sun and moon is darkened, summer will be summer, winter, winter will be winter. winter, fall will be fall. Those will never change. So he amen. Will, but Christ likened those things to events. Amen. He says, yes. as the leaf, when the leaf puts forth their leaves, summer is not. Mm. So likewise, ye, when you shall see all these series of events, the coming of the Son of Man is it's near. So amen. That means you Amen. That when he darkens the sun and moon, it doesn't matter what Satan does. Ah, this event just happened. So the next Therefore, the, this, this is the next one. one. And, and God says, my, um, heaven and earth will pass away. Sun, moon, and stars will be shaken. Amen. My word, my series of events, they will never pass away. Amen. It's going to be the same. And she says, the last, the last scenes, what? Plainly, Plainly revealed in the scriptures Amen. is showing the working of the man, man of sin. Those are the things that's plainly revealed in these events we have to see because those are the hidden events. Though, that is what Christ really wants us to see, the things in which no man can see. But go ahead, Rashad. The they come to pass. The Amen. Because, because Christ said to John, I, I, tell, I tell you these things before it come to pass. That when, and, and he also, I think, yeah, this is also in John as well. It says, I tell you before it comes to pass that when it comes to pass, he might... Believe. Go ahead, Rashad. And it's nice that, that no order, man, when you put with it, no order there at the midnight cross. But when Ezekiel saw the wheels within the wheels, ah, yes. it's, it's, it, it's seen. It, it was a confusion. Confusion. But it was a, it, yes, amen. It was a perfect order. Amen. A complicated play of human, human events. events. So amen. These, these series of events, these, seri these series of human events, is in perfect order. Amen. Okay, I, um, I'm glad. You, amen. So, just like Rashad said, and the Lord will send more light upon all, all these things from COVID. Because I remember seeing a video sometime last year. And in the video, it said that, yes, yes, this is here now. But when this leaves, the laws will still be there. So, the Lord will send us new light upon COVID as well. Not not the sickness in in itself, but the laws passed in that time. So all those old things, because 54th month, this was 2020. So from that, that point onward, and, 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 um, and from times past as well, the Lord will show us, show us these things, um, show us more upon those things. And COVID was one of the, was a part of the series of events. January 6th was one of the series of events. The riots throughout the whole earth, that was one of the series of events. Right now with Roe versus Wade, 
That's one of the series of events. So, amen. Oh, yes. Amen. That's, yes, that's another big one, too. All these things are preparing the way for the man of sin. If you see, amen, it's the, it's the, they're forecasting their shadow. It's showing us what is coming up. And in all these things, every single one of these things, the Protestants had something to say. The Protestants had something to say in Roe Ro versus Wade with Ukraine, with the riots for January 6th, with COVID. Protestants had had a say. It's very quiet now, but it, it will increase as time goes on. As Rashad, Rashad went over that, that the, the voices swelled, the evil voices shall swell as well. Our voice is quiet now, but it shall swell. The voice of the Protestants is quiet now, but that, that shall swell. And their end is to have the church above the state. It's to put away the Constitution. Because all these things was talking about the Constitution. Ukraine, every single one of these things deals with the Constitution of the United States. Go ahead, Swindon. Yup, Amen. <laughs> that praise God, you know, I was and vote for Democrat. That's that's so funny. I was thinking about saying that, but I was like, no, I won't say it, cause I saw the same video yesterday as well too. Exactly. Yup. Exactly. Yup. Yeah. So, and in that same, same video, what is he trying to say? Church, be involved in political things. That is what he's saying right there. He is rolling up, up, up the churches to be in political parties, political things. The Constitution tells us separation of church and state. Hezekiah got a, a, got, got a plague on his forehead because he was connecting church and state. So what shall come? Plagues. Plagues will come. So the voice of the Protestants shall shall rise up as well, and 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 we we know their end, and their end is that they will want to have the church above above the state. Go ahead. Yeah, Uzziah. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, yes, Uzziah. I said the wrong person. Uzziah. Thank you. All right. Go down to the next paragraph. Letter six, eighteen eighty three, paragraph sixteen. Um, can someone read the bold, please? Amen. So when does God um, do a strange work? In the day of the what? The preparation. All right. Now let's go look at the next paragraph. Keep in mind, since 1989, because Reagan did what he did, he has brought about a series, series of events in which every, everything from that point onward were new things that has never happened in this earth while while this land existed because of what reagan did it brought about a new series of events this is why it says here in the day of his what no in the day of his preparation that he will work a strange work upon the earth that's when a strange work happens not this is when a strange works happen this is why Ever since Reagan did that, strange work started happening because this is the day of the Lord's preparation. We are in it now. This is why strange works are going on. Because Reagan did what none of his fathers have done. Amen. It's strange. The first president to appoint an ambassador to the Vatican. Amen. None of his fathers have done that. George Washington, Lincoln, Roosevelt, none Amen. Of have done that. And so because he had done this new thing or this strange thing, Strange and new things happen in the United States and the world because of that. All right, so next paragraph. Can someone read the bold loudly, please? The scriptures tell us. Scriptures tell us. Go ahead. Scriptures tell us about a period called the time of the end. Amen. They tell us about a day called the day of his preparation. Two. They tell us about an hour called the hour of his judgment. They tell us about a work called the finishing of the gospel. Four. Do all these mean the same thing? Do all of these periods of periods and features apply to the same time? Do they focus on the same spot? They do. They do. 
Amen. So they're all showing the same thing. So ever since 1989, the time of the end, new and strange works have been happening, both on the side of Christ and on the side of Satan. Because, because Reagan brought about this, 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 new series, this, this new thing, a series of events trailed after it. Because, because of that, it, 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 it led to many other things. And this is why 9-11 happened in the first place. Because of what Reagan did, it brought about, it, it was a new thing. The United States never um, leagued up with a church to go and take down a king. It never happened. And then Islam attacked on U.S. soil. That has never happened before. These are all new things that has happened after. So this is why we have to have an understanding of the times because that shall be the, um, that shall keep us stable in the, in the night when there's no order. Next, next paragraph, S SPM 369, paragraph 6, says the future is before us and unforeseen events will surely take place, changing the, the present aspect of things in the world. So, we have to keep this in mind. All these events here are changing the present aspect of things in, in the world. And, amen. All, amen. Coronavirus changed the present aspect. Amen. In, in the world was, it was COVID. Amen. And this is why she says that the conditions of warfare are not what they were years ago. It has changed the present um, aspect of the things in the world. Yes. Amen. Next paragraph. Um, okay, yes. Can someone read the bold of this as well from Review and Herald, December 26? Lovely. Human enactment, laws manufactured by satanic agencies under a plea of goodness and restriction of evil will be exalted while God's holy commandments are despised and trampled on the foot. Amen. So the garb in which they'll take is, is that it is to restrict evil and, and, and to lift up the good of, of man. It, it, amen. Yeah. These, these you know, connection with yeah, COVID, the vaccine, yes. This is what changed, changed the whole, whole world as well. And they also said that the, vac the, the vaccine was a new thing as well in, in itself because they use... Um, yeah, that, yeah, that was it. Amen. Mm-hmm. The riots and the For, combine them all, yep. God's people. Amen. One thing I know with all of these, one thing that was attacked is freedom of speech. And every single one of these, freedom of speech was attacked. Freedom of this is the First Amendment. Yep. Freedom so, of protest, freedom of press. Am, it's the First Amendment. Amen. That is what is being attacked. Where you you can't speak what you want to speak. It must be in line with what we, we say. It makes right? sense because the First Amendment also has a right to religious um, yeah, freedom, of, freedom to worship God upon the people oh, really? of this country. So the First Amendment is included in that. It makes sense. Oh. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. Did not know that, but that's nice. Yeah. And you can't publish. Yeah, and that. You can't, you can't gather a church. Amen. And you can't protest. Oh, All in the First Amendment is, is directly to keep the papacy outside of the United States. Amen. And this is what this all of this here was was fighting this the but Constitution. In the religious part, the world is going to wake up too late to realize all, all, this, all this is leading to religion. Taking away religious liberty. Amen. All right. Um, since I only got a couple minutes, let's go down to two SAT. 314, paragraph 6. Um, yes, th this is a nice quote because when certain things happen upon the earth, we can know why it happened. And, and we'll s s 
see that here in this in this quote. Can someone read this quote, please? What? All right, so that is why that happened, because of corruption and, and thieves. This is why this, um, this plague, plague fell upon them at that time. Go ahead. Amen. So the Lord really wants us to read these things and see why certain cities are hit and are, or are flooded or, 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 or it's cold, cold, cold when it should be hot and it's hot, hot, hot when it should be um, cold and so forth. All right, last, we'll read the last quote in here from Prayer 42, Paragraph 5. Can someone read? Read this quote, please. Amen. So the Lord tells us we must pray, pray for this to understand the times. And when, and Rashad, Rashad went over that part. Um, to stand upright is to what? Understand. understand. So now in, and um, when, when, Daniel. yeah, stood upright, the Lord gave him, gave him, um, Amen. An understanding and showed them a series series of events from the Medes down to Greece, down to Rome, and down and down to now. So when we understand when we stand upright, the Lord shall show us the series of events coming out to the second coming. The light in which the Lord the Lord the Lord will show us is going to be a grand, beautiful light. It's going to be a you will see point by point the work of Christ and the work of the man of sin, Satan. Go ahead, Swinton. Last thought. The Bible says that the angels should be upright. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Stand, stand upright. Yes, that is true. The, the command was Gabriel, make this man to understand, understand the vision. Amen. You don't get the understanding by yourself. You don't stand Amen. upright on any merit, merit of yourself. Of your own. But it's Gabriel that comes and makes you understand the vision. Yeah. Amen. So it's showing that there's nothing within us to get that light. The Lord has to make us get, get that light. But it's nice because the Lord makes up for, for each man's lack. So um, yeah, let's keep these things in mind and to search these things out and to, to see the times in which we are in as well. Amen? All right, shall we close with a word of prayer? More so, Father, in heaven, O oh Lord, we give thanks for this day, for life and strength. And, O oh Lord, I ask you may forgive us all, all of our faults and failures. And please help us to, to see these things aright, to have your word, word in each mind here, so that we might live live right and to um, see things right in this earth, O oh Lord. And we ask these things in your son's name. We pray. Amen.